All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Earn Your Stripes mod, which is being made by forum user Severed Solo. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to allow your Kerbals to earn their very own orange flight suit and i love the idea behind this as of course i know the whole point of the orange jumpsuit is so that the original four jeb bob bill and val you know have something special to show off that they were the original kerbals in the game but personally I like the idea of having all of my Kerbals on an equal footing when I start, and them earn that veteran status with the orange jumpsuit that goes with it, and thus in comes Earn Your Stripes to do that very thing, and how it works is pretty simple, and the reason of course why we're still on the main menu here, as it all starts with this mod when you create a new game. So let's start new, and it doesn't matter what type of game you're doing, whether it's career, science, or sandbox, this mod will work the same in all of them. What counts is under difficulty options. Now you're gonna wanna go in here and you'll see a new Earn Your Stripes button. And when you click that, that gives us all the defaults for this beautiful mod. And let's start over on this column, because this is basically how your Kerbals earn their lovely new orange flight suit. They do it by having a certain number of completed flights as well as a certain number of completed flight hours. So you could have a Kerbal with 20 flights, but if it doesn't add up to the right amount of hours in total, he still will not get the orange jumpsuit. And I love the idea of having both of these in here. So you actually have to have a pretty experienced Kerbal who's done a lot and been doing it for a long time. And of course, these are on sliders, so you can do both of them all the way down to zero and all the way up to a hundred. And for either of them, which <laughs> that would be one impressive Kerbal right there, or, of course, uh, you can mix and match, so if you don't want flights to matter, but you want hours to matter, you can turn the flights all the way down to zero, and then the hours to whatever you want, and, of course, vice versa. Just however you would like for your Kerbals to gain their veteran status, you can adjust it here, which is pretty cool. Now, the default is five flights, if I bring it back to that, and, well, six, there we go, five, and and 12 in game hours and that's you know pretty easy to accomplish in my opinion so I personally like to crank it up a little bit but you know leave it whatever you'd like now the second column we have here is a bit more interesting now the first option we have is remove existing honors and what this will do is actually make it so that Jeb Bob Bill and Val no longer have the orange jumpsuit. They will start just like everyone else in the game with the standard white flight suit, and they'll have to earn it just like everyone else. And personally, I like this option. I always turn it on, well, <laughs> for the couple hours I've been playing with this mods, considering it literally did just come out today as of recording this video. So yeah, I, I really like this option of having it so that the main four also have to start just like everyone else. Now the other options we have here is so that you can limit that veteran status and thus the orange jumpsuit to specific professions. So if you only want the pilots to earn them, eh, you just turn off scientist and engineer, or if you want pilots and engineers but not scientists, just do that in just however you would like to combine them. Now personally, I think all three is good, but hey, if you only want a specific class to have the orange colored flight suit, that's all you. And yeah, that is how you set this up, so let's actually cancel out of here and go into an earn your stripe save file that I made earlier to test all this to show off 
yeah, basically how it works and how they do finally get their suit. So let's go to the astronaut complex here. And as you can see, Jeb, Bill, Bob, and Val all are in the standard white flight suit. And the only person currently who has the veteran status is Jen Blaze. Jen Blaze? I have no idea how to pronounce that, Kerman. But yes, this one down here, as she has completed... Oh god, I think like 20 hours of flight time and 6 flights at this point. And so she gained her veteran status. And that is a wonderful thing. Now we have two other Kerbals who are close to getting their status, Depont and Bill. So let's actually take Bill out for just a quick little flight and he'll go, if we head back to the astronaut complex real quick, he'll go from the white jumpsuit to the orange. So let us go and just pop him in, oh, to a jumping flea. That should be perfectly fine. And there we are. We have Bill ready to go. We'll just launch this and uh, let's talk about the flight. So basically for a flight to count, it has to take off, fly, it, if even if only for a second or two, it doesn't matter, but as long as it flies, lands, and then gets recovered and that's the key it has to be recovered i tested a multitude of different things earlier and if say it exploded on landing of course it kills your kerbals so they're not going to count for that flight but yes they have to take off fly land and then recover vessel now what's fun though is eh, like i said it could be as short as just a couple seconds of flight time so let's put down the solid fuel there and so it'll just be a really quick little jump in into the air so bam there we are off and deploy the parachute and this should be Bill's last flight he has all the hours as I put him into the same uh, orbiter going around the planet a couple of times as I did with the current Kerbal who I've already forgotten her name Wow that's good of me but yes I put him into the same orbiter with her so this should be his last flight, and he should get to the orange suit. Let's, uh, you know, fast forward time here, so we can scoot this along, and wait for it, wait for it, still in the white jumpsuit, and in fact he won't actually get it until we leave and recover, but there we go, back down to one, and perfect landing, beautiful. Now again, like I said, we now have to recover the vessel, so it is a safe recovery. The Kerbal has survived. He still is in the white suit here, but if we now go to the astronaut complex, there we go. Bill now has his proper orange jumpsuit back yet again because he completed his total hours and his fifth flight. And that is a wonderful thing. Now let's just uh, just to show you once more, we'll go to Depont down here, who was also in the same orbiter as Jen Blaze and Bill, and I only have Depont on his fourth flight, so let us just do one more quick one. We'll uh, make it a bit more interesting this time. We'll stick with the jumping flea, but we'll keep all the fuel in and kind of, I don't know, go sideways towards the ocean just for a little bit more entertainment. There we go. Depont, you <laughs> you may die, but you'll get you'll get your your orange jumpsuit, hopefully. So let us launch in three, two, one. There we go. And towards the ocean. Yes, perfect. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't explode them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, now we're basically on a ballistic trajectory into the dangerous waters, and the parachute is not yet safe to deploy. Still not safe to deploy. Safe to deploy. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, okay. Good thing, actually. This is good that this happened. The Kerbal, of course, since I'm in Sandbox, is still alive, so we can revert our flight. And reverted flights do not count as a completed flight, because again, they need to be safely recovered. So let's try not to go quite so steep this time, uh, so that we're on less of a um, <laughs> deadly ballistic trajectory. There we go. We should have plenty of time on this one to open up our parachutes. Oh, I was hoping we would on the last one, but that definitely <laughs> was not the case. Oh, what the heck? We'll get some science while we're at it. Not that it actually matters in the slightest because we're in sandbox, but oh well, science ahoy. 
And beautiful. And we'll open the parachute. There we go. Turn off the SAS and speed time forward. And soon, DuPont shall have her orange jumpsuit as well. Granted, I keep bouncing back and forth between spacesuit and jumpsuit. I mean, effectively, they're the same, just, you know, one's a little bit more complicated. <laughs> okay, so we just gotta wait for this 4x time to land, and of course, again, recover, and then DuPont Kerman will also have her beautiful new suit. And yeah, I just love the idea of this mod, especially if you are playing a career game, because it makes it a lot easier at a glance when you're trying to choose what Kerbals to send on a mission to know exactly who are your most experienced. I, I love that idea. You guys know me. I love that sort of uh, easy at a glance sort of visualization of things. And so now with Depont here, I know if we go to the uh, astronaut complex, Bam, that she as well as Jen Blaze and Bill are my best, most experienced people. And so if I was in a career game, I might use them over Valentina and Bob for a deep space mission because I know they've seen things. <laughs> and I, I just like that idea. It, it amuses me and makes me feel a bit, um, oh God, what's a good way to put it? Hmm, I actually completely lost my train of thought on that now. But it, it makes the game feel a bit more realistic. You have your now veteran Kerbals who earn their new jumpsuit, and that is a great idea. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. But that is going to be it for this mod today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next, when we'll hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. Now time to get Jebediah his jumpsuit. Later, folks.